So we're in Clovis, California. We just came out here and finished installing some shutoff valves and some braided supply lines. The existing valves you can see here are the multi-turn shutoff valves. Um, don't like these valves, never have the plastic stems and the plastic uh, uh, packing nuts that are in there. Uh, they always leak no matter what. You know, they calcify because of our hard water and then you know, the multi-turn they start dripping, it's hard to get them shut down all the way, they seem to fail. So when we put in valves, we like the quarter turn stainless steel ball, you know, on off and you're done. Additionally, you can see that these <clears throat> stain, uh, braided stainless steel supply lines have collapsed. Uh, they, they, it seems like they burst uh, for whatever reason. You can see both of them just twisted around all the way through the uh, length of the, of the braided steel. So the hose inside has has burst for whatever reason high pressure I don't know just age something happened and both of them are are in horrible shape so we've removed all of that what we've got right here is some uh, blue fin these are quarter turn shut off valves iron pipe uh, the existing pipe going to the wall the hot and the cold is you know they're currently corroding it's 30 year old uh, galvanized iron pipe in there so typical corrosion the threads are still in good shape which is which is wonderful because we could get the old valves off put the new ones on so you can see hot and cold valves there uh, cold on this side hot on the other side and then of course brand new fluid master uh, braided supply lines and uh, so you want to monitor this area. You know, I know this is going to get replaced, but at some point, you know, new cabinet's going to go in. You know, waste will get hooked back up, faucet will get hooked back up, whatnot. And then you want to be, be, continue to monitor. You know, once once we're gone, you know, when they take this stuff apart, it's all new products, so there's not a problem really putting it back in. As long as they get it back in there and tighten it up correctly. But I would definitely just stay on top of this area, uh, you know, once everything is complete and back in working order, you know, the, the cabinet has been replaced because that, I don't think that should be repaired. I think the cabinet should be replaced. You know, of course, I'm not a professional in that, in the remediation industry, but I'm looking at it and I wouldn't want uh, anything done with this cabinet because it just soaks into everything. Uh, so once it's done, just monitor this area, make sure it's not leaking. We'll make a note that, uh, you know, this is, you know, our installation goes all the way up to the faucet, and then at some point it's going to be disconnected. So, um, you know, that'll be their project at that point unless, you know, we're called back out to reinstall it and hook the faucet back up. Uh, anyway, so we are done out here. Outside of that, this installation is done.